everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess. Do your readings this morning. Um, and this will be for the sign of Capricorn. Hi, oh, you're coming out early this week, Capricorn. Very nice. So for all of you Capricorns who've got your... And I know some of you already because I have spoken to you. Um, who've got your birthday either on my birthday this week or around my birthday this week. Happy birthday to you many happy returns i think that you are going to be very um rewarded by all the changes that are coming in for you here uh with all the planets sitting in our sign for the next anywhere between 30 and a year and 30 years or 30 odd years some that you may never see again so big changes capricorn big awakenings for us big returns Okay, so do remember though that the reading is not only general. It will not appeal to everybody. It will not resonate with everybody. Um, I'm sorry, but I cannot make it right for everybody as much as I'd love to. Um, I'm only picking up on what Spirit is giving me. So if it misses you, it's because this week your energy may have been in one of your other planetary aspects. I am using the Tarot Mucha. And I do want to say, please excuse the echoing in the room, but I've only got my desks and a few things left in here, so it's very echoey. Radio. so we have the Page of Swords coming in. I like this energy. The Page of Swords can mean somebody's keeping a bit of an eye on you here, so I can't discount that. Somebody's watching, um, which is very funny because obviously people are watching me. Um, <laughs> this is someone who's perhaps more interested in you at a, could be a work level or a love level but somebody here wants to speak somebody wants to say their piece somebody wants to offer something here now the page is only a messenger so sometimes this will be very honest communication coming through from someone I do note that this page is looking off into the future. So even though he has a very honest message, he is looking further down the track. So maybe he is just putting a little bit of something out there to see how you respond. Okay, someone wants a leap of faith with you here. Um, this is very interesting because it has the, the Scorpio feel to it. So if you're dealing with a Scorpio, please look at the Scorpio reading. Um, someone wants to take a leap of faith. Someone's ready to jump into the unknown with you here. Someone that may have yet yeah, definitely got Scorpio here. Now, it could be you've got Scorpio in your chart too, so don't discount that if you're like me with a Scorpio rising or Scorpio on the ascendant. Um Someone here could have done something in the past where they could have walked away, ghosted you or left you with no um, reason for why they walked away here. Um, the hermit card is here. So someone's made perhaps a decision to come forward. Someone's seen you as being the truth. Someone has seen you as being perhaps, perhaps you were outspoken about something. Perhaps you hurt someone's feelings by being direct with them um, and you stood in your truth and maybe at the time they that was a hard pill to swallow, which is what Spirit is saying here. That was very difficult for them to accept. So it's like somebody is coming back in now to put things right. Very strong with the Scorpio stuff here. Okay, so we do have the Five of Cups coming out. So the Five of Cups is a card of being remorseful and regretful about the past, but not looking towards the future where actually there is a lot more waiting for you in the future. It's like there's two cups in the future which promises love, new growth, new starts, but you're too busy looking at the three cups that have passed. So this is really trying to look forward rather than looking back here. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups coming in here. So you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Um, this person is very intuitive. They could be quite... Uh, quite insightful here they may be very nurturing and very kind um, some of you this could be a mother figure not so much a wife more of the motherly figure here so it could be that somebody is in their feels now very feeling very intuitive somebody could have woken up somebody could have seen 
what they needed to see because somebody is really sitting in their emotions here. So someone has had perhaps a bit of an awakening. Okay, we do have the Five of Wands. And like I said to you before, there seems to have been some sort of conflict here in the past that perhaps um, created some sort of conflict between you and another person. Um, it may not have been a bad conflict because we're not seeing, you know, lots of betrayal here. What I'm seeing is self-doubt, self realization someone feeling very personally hurt by something when that someone's been honest and truthful about and perhaps this has come from the right place here with this queen of cups um but hasn't been hasn't been weathered well hasn't been taken well someone's taken it very personally here oh wow and again with the scorpio energy okay so we have the tower coming in here so I feel like someone's had a huge realisation here. I feel like something happened here um, in the past and it could have been words only. I don't think there was a huge betrayal. I feel that perhaps someone spoke up about something or was honest about something and the other person didn't take it well. Um, this is definitely to do with the past. This is definitely to do with some sort of relationship here where one person, either the Capricorn or the other person you're dealing with, has been honest, been straightforward, been direct about something, which of course is very difficult for us Capricorns sometimes to realise we can be a little direct. Um, I always think it's really sad that Capricorns are labelled as cold, heartless people, only focusing on career, because... In my experience, most of the Capricorns I have known um, are very deep feeling people. They just have a way of um, perhaps um, not expressing as freely as a water sign might. So sometimes when we say things, we say them directly, but we're not meaning anything hurtful by them. It's just the way they come out. So somebody here hurt someone's feelings really badly and they took it very personally. And there was some sort of tower moment that came as part of this. Um, we do have the emperor coming in here. So someone here. Wow. And then we have the moon card. I'm just going to lay the next few cards out to see why the emperor's here and the seven of cups. Somebody did. <laughs> somebody. Somebody buried their feelings here. Someone buried their feelings under other situations, other relationships um, and denied what was true for them here. Um, I feel that they were so busy controlling the situation, um, trying to steer the situation in their own direction that when something happened here and they were unable to steer anymore, they just went straight into close down, shut down. Um, this person could have surrounded themselves with lots of distractions here, maybe deluded themselves with the moon here um, and the seven of cups and tried to deny the way they felt, tried to deny the situation, tried to deny what was happening um, by controlling their external environment. <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> That's too funny. Um, it doesn't work. Uh, it, it, you can control all you like, but you really don't have any control over your external environment. Um, it's quite interesting. So this person was trying to control everything on the outside of them so that they didn't have to go into this feel, into these fields. But now, of course, the fields have come right to the top, so they've had to accept it. Okay, someone now wants to work on a situation with the Eight of Pentacles here. Someone now who's recognised your boundaries, recognised why what was said was said and done and why they perhaps walked away from a situation here. This also can mean here that you may choose to walk away from this situation in light of what happened in the past. Um... This is, as I said, not necessarily a romantic thing. This can be some sort of um, relationship you have with a family member or a friend. Um, 
lack of boundaries in the past perhaps that's what you challenged here was a lack of boundaries whatever it was it broke something down now if this is something happening to you in the moment or is about to happen to you there is someone here who thinks they can control things by breaking down your external boundaries they think they can control everything here they are really going to push you to uh, a very strong degree here because they are so um, so entrenched in their own ideas and feelings that they're not considering yours here. Um, and I feel that there could be for some of you here a walking away from a situation. So for some of you, this may not have happened. For others of you, it feels to me like it's to do with the past here, um, that something happened to this effect in the past and somebody walked away from something without actually acknowledging their true feelings here and fought against those. I feel like one person stood up for what they thought was right and the other person took it personally and walked away without actually... Uh, acknowledging or speaking up about something and I mean that can be seen as being selfish but a uh, you know walking away without having to face the hurt and pain of something it could be that somebody felt rejected here there's always this feeling you know of abandonment issues coming through um, but whatever it is something somebody wants to put something right here now by rushing in with some sort of offer of a brand new start here Let's see what the oracle cards say. Ooh, and we have two. Okay, we've had two for nearly every reading so far today. It's so different. I do not need to have the book for these. The first card out is time for a nap. Now, when we talk about time for a nap, this is about taking time out here. And I think that for some of you, having someone walk back into your life with some sort of apology or regret, remorse, trying to put something right from the past may require that you take time out here. But there's also come to the edge, which talks about taking a leap of faith. And I think these two cards are representing each person here so I think that someone is ready to take a leap of faith and come in and I again if you're dealing with a Scorpio have a look at the Scorpio reading um, because that definitely is resonating both sides of this one um, but the time for a nap I think is about you making sure that you're making the right decision here before you move forward very strongly here okay Capricorn have a wonderful birthday thanks